to the contact section. So if we click that, it's going to link down over here. Now you can link it to any page that you want. This is just an example. So we can go over here and we can change the button color. But personally, I don't like to change the color over here um, because the colors don't look that great. Um, I'll show you that in a second. So click on done. Now the next step is to style it. So what we're going to do is we're going to hover over the row again, click on styling, and we're going to click on font. And then we're going to scroll down and click on text align. So we're going to align everything into the center. So basically what that means is that if we sort of set in like the font for the row, it's going to affect everything within that row. So we don't have to set it individually for each of the modules here. So sometimes that can be a lot easier and it's a little bit less confusing. So here we can set the color to be white and that just makes sure that it's visible. So let's go back over here and click on done. So let's click on save first and you can also click on here on the drop down to save as revision. So for example, if you finish like a section in your homepage, we can do like hero done and then you can put like a date or something like that and then click on OK. And if you do make a big mistake, then you can go over here and load that revision. So we can click on save and close it. And what you're going to notice is there is a gap on the top over here. So to remove that gap, we can go to edit page. And we need to remove the gap every time if we do want to have a full width uh, content width, right? So we want to set here to full width like that and then click on update. And then we can scroll back up and click over here and then click back onto our home page. And then that should be done. So you guys are probably wondering, how do you change it to a transparent header? So I do want to show you that really quickly since we're here already. So go back over here and scroll down to Themify custom panel. Again, click on the page appearance and click on header. Scroll down to header background type over here. Click on transparent. So sometimes you do need to edit the header text color because the background is a different color. You might need to make sure your links are visible. So keep that in mind. Click on update. Let's refresh that page. And that's looking really good. So the next thing I want to show you is how to change the size of the text and also the button color. So click on turn on builder and then click into the module. So that one over here. So what you can do is we can change the heading one size. So go back to styling and click on the tab and click on heading. And here you can change the heading one font. So generally there's two ways of doing it. And personally, I recommend the second way, which I'll show you later, but this is the first way. So click into that. And here we can change the font family because we already set the body font to Montserrat. I don't really need to change that again. So we do want to change the size. So make it a little bit bigger, maybe like 70. Let's just click it and drag it. Maybe a little bit bigger. Let's try 80. So 80 is a decent size. Here we can also change the letter spacing. So I might want to make it a little bit more modern. So we can change it to one letter spacing like that. And you can also text transform it like that. Looks really good. Scrolling down to the text shadow. So the text shadow is very, very useful. So try to um, keep this in mind when you're building your website because you always want to make sure your text is visible when you're putting it on top of images. And this is a really great way of doing it. So you can do one, one, oops. So that's meant to be, that's meant to be one. So let's click delete that. That's one. And then for the blur, we're going to set five. And as you can see, it adds sort of like a white uh, shadow. And that does look really, really nice. Um, it sort of enhances the text a little bit. And what we can do is click on the color and we can select black. And then that just creates a really, really nice shadow. So you can see the text, drop the opacity or the transparency down to like maybe 0 0.1, something like that. And then that looks really, really great. So what we want to do is sort of want to reduce the spacing over here and we can sort of click on the bottom here. So we can change it to one for the margin for the bottom area like that. So we can click on done and that's going to reduce the spacing. So you can actually click on the next text module and we can change the sizing over here as well. So click styling font and then here we can just type in the size. So like 24, uh, maybe a little bit too big. So maybe 22, something like that looks pretty good. Then we can scroll down. Um, we can also go back over here to the margin. So let's say you want to move the spacing over here. So you can reduce the margin like this as well. So minus maybe like three. 
and maybe minus five. So that's gonna move the button up a little bit because it's going to um, create a negative margin. So padding is similar. So padding, for example, is let's say we do 100. So basically think of the padding as the space inside the box. So that's padding. Uh, margin is sort of outside of the box. So for example, um, we do like top, sort of top margin, 100. That's gonna appear outside of that box over there. Okay, so sometimes that does take time to get used to, but generally I only do sort of margin when I need to reduce the spacing like that. And padding, normally I only add it like when I need to add spacing like that. Let's click on done and we can click on save. And then for the button, we can click into that, click on the styling, click on button link, click on background, and here we can change the color. So before when I was talking about the web design, um, what I recommend is either using a neutral color, like a neutral dark gray, or maybe a white color, or just a sort of ghost button like this, or you can just go to the website over here and pick an accent color. So let's say, for example, I wanna pick this maybe pink one, or maybe let's try maybe yeah, this one over here, sort of red color, okay? And then we can go back over here. Oops, go back over here, paste that in. So that might look okay. Um, maybe let's change it to pink. I think it does look a little bit nicer. Go back and close it, paste it in, and then you can add the color like that. And then for the link, we do need to change that to white so it's visible, okay? Then we must set a hover color. So when people hover over it, what color does it turn into? So generally what I recommend is either hovering it back into a neutral color or a different shade of the same color, right? So you don't wanna hover it into like a random color at all uh, because it's just gonna look really bad. So what we're gonna do is make a lighter version of it. So click on there, come back and let's paste that in like that. So when people hover over it, it's gonna be a lighter effect. So this is essentially the same effect that you see on Uber as well, like that, it goes lighter. So on a lot of websites, that's what they do. So you don't pick a random color, otherwise it's gonna have a bad design. So once that is done, I might change the sort of font as well within there. So let's go back and click on general, click on font. Here, I'm gonna change it to text transform. Maybe make the size a little bit smaller if I can, maybe 14. And then I'm going to, let's add some letter spacing. So let's try one, maybe two, like that. Okay, so that looks nice and modern, in my opinion, looks really, really good. So we're gonna click on done and then we're gonna click on done and close. Okay, so that looks really great and that's probably the hardest part of the tutorial. The rest of the stuff is gonna be super easy. So we're gonna speed through that.